There is nothing more infuriating than a TV show gone rogue. You watch the pilot, you invest yourself in the story, the characters and the concept, and then suddenly five seasons go by and you're left scratching your head wondering at which point the writers decided to just set their brains on fire and throw all their hard work down the bock. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 exact moments you rage quit a TV show. Number 10, Riverdale, the cult leader tries to escape in a rocket. Ah, Riverdale, at this point the show has committed so many felonies against its fans that I'm surprised it still has an audience at all. Over and over, the show tests its fans' patience to see how far it can fray their nerves. The drama introduced demonic D&D games, possessed dolls, and probably the most enraging antagonist of all, that being the Chad Michael Murray cult. Obviously, that wasn't the name of the cult, but it might as well have been. The cult became the second antagonist in season 3, and although the ragtag bunch of Scooby Gang wannabe heroes managed to defeat every other villain since season 1, they were no match against the cult's influence. When season 3 ended and the cult remained undefeated, fans were convinced that it would be the real big bad for season 4. Instead though, episode 3 of season 4 rolled round, and the whole episode was just insane. Not only is the cult easily defeated here, but Chad Michael Murray appears for the first time that season in an evil Knievel seat, boarding a homemade rocket so we can quote unquote, ascend. The evil and chilling villain from season 3 gets rewritten as kooky and pathetic in a flash. All the fans that had waited months for the season 4 cult storyline promptly quit the series, unable to reconcile their relationship with the unpredictable show creators any longer. Number 9. Lost. The origin of Jack's tattoo. TV shows that revolve around flashbacks always have a sell-by date. For the first two seasons, the formula of Lost though worked immensely well. The episode's central character flashbacks tied perfectly with the events happening on the island that week and helped to reveal pieces of the story to audiences in innovative ways. Then came season 3 though, and the same formula that had worked so well for the series before became tiresome and lacking. And while the ninth episode, Stranger in a Strange Land, may have been the best example of this, it was also the episode that changed the show for good. The episode promised in previews to reveal answers to some of the show's biggest mysteries, and consequently people were rightfully excited. Instead though, what the episode turned out to be was a messy, poorly acted and poorly thought out romp that revealed the important answers about Jack's tattoos. Yeah, the infamous episode's apparent mysteries were how and why Jack got his tattoos, and the answer, well, I'll save you the details here. Just know that it was lackluster to say the least. From there, ratings dropped severely, and fans refused to stick around anymore, losing interest in the show and its central mystery. But this actually turned out to be a good thing in the long run, because it made ABC give up on the series as well. If the episode hadn't have happened, Lost may be still on the edge of this day, as they might have never figured out that they needed to end it at some point. Number 8. Sherlock. Sherlock's sister is the true mastermind. Sherlock had a lot of issues, but it was so popular and its characters so appealing that none of them looked like they could ever be big enough to completely derail the show. But then the finale of season 4 came around and capped off the series with its worst, most irredeemable episode to date. After teasing for years that iconic villain Moriarty was returning in one form or another to terrorise Sherlock and Co yet again, this final episode revealed Sherlock's mentally unstable sister to be the true criminal mastermind the whole time. Now, this entire episode was a train wreck admittedly, from that awful dog twist to the lacklustre peril the characters were put in. But the moment fans completely switched off was when it was revealed that Moriarty himself had been little more than a pawn the whole time, seduced into the game by Sherlock's sibling. This retroactively soured the entire series, and worked as a grand reveal that undermined one of the best things people still loved about the show. Number 7. Grey's Anatomy. Izzy has sex with a ghost. God damn dead Denny. Grey's Anatomy has come up with some really daft storylines in its time, but nothing, nothing will ever live up to the dead Denny storyline. See, Grey's has had a lot of famous, capable actors on the show in its time, but there's one name that stands out from the rest. Maybe because of the controversy that always seems to follow her, or maybe because of her performance, who knows. Either way, Katherine Heigl will be best remembered on the show for this reason, that being she had sex with a ghost. 
Yep, that's right. The show decided that the best way to show the actor's character suffer through a brain tumour was to have her imagine and start a relationship with her dead boyfriend. The storyline was bizarre and cringe-inducing and completely took the impact out of her character's eventual diagnosis. At this point, fans had stuck around for some pretty wild things, but this was just too much. The scenes between Izzy and Denny were unwatchable and fans just gave up on the show after that, losing total faith in the writer's abilities. Number 6, The Walking Dead, the Who Did Negan Kill cliffhanger. It brings me no joy to have two entries in a row starring Jeffrey Dean Morgan on this list. By all accounts, he's a great actor, but he has found himself in controversial TV moments through no fault of his own. Season 6 of The Walking Dead seemed set to please with the introduction of the infamous comics villain Negan. Yet, when he entered the show at the very end, fans were just not happy about it. But why? Well, even though the scenes that played out in this introductory episode came straight from the comic books themselves, the problem was that Negan's first episode was split into two. In the comic, Negan's intro ends with him brutally killing Glenn in one of the most iconic panels in the series' history. The show, though, only tease this, and sees Negan line up Rick and the gang of main characters on the ground while he gives an impassioned speech about knowing our place. He then goes on to tell the heroes the price for their actions, that being, he will kill one of them at random. After the most nerve-biting rendition of Eeny Meeny Miny Mo ever, he swings his bat and… that's it. You'll find out who took the blow next year, so hope you tune in. Number 5. The Simpsons. The principal is an imposter, but does not matter? The Simpsons got through 8 entire seasons before jumping the shark, which is a pretty big feat for such a long running show. The episode in question's plot here revolves around Principal Skinner. Here we find out after 9 seasons that Principal Skinner is actually an imposter. Born Armin Timzarian, Skinner actually took on the identity of a fellow soldier during the war when the soldier was esteemed dead. In the episode, the real Skinner returns to Springfield and attempts to take his life back, before the residents of the town decide that they want the old Skinner and subsequently banish the real one by tying him to a freight train. The last straw came when the episode ended and everyone just agreed that they would forget about all the events that had transpired, and that's exactly what the show did too. It was a veiled attempt at the whole it was all a dream cliche, and fans promptly realised that The Simpsons of old was dead and gone. Number 4. Game of Thrones The Starbucks Cup Fiasco Now, the Starbucks gaffe was far from the biggest crime of Game of Thrones' final season, but it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Episode after episode, it was slowly becoming clear that these final six hours were not good going to be the epic, flawless conclusion that fans wanted. Fan rage was especially high after the Night King's defeat, as while it was a visually spectacular episode, the entire storyline wrapped up too neatly, while the writer's desire to subvert expectations left key characters with little to do. The audience was already teetering with only a few episodes left, so seeing an immersion-breaking Starbucks cup in the next episode was enough to let them know something had gone seriously wrong. All around the world, people were screaming at the TV asking how no one noticed this. Not the actors, not the director, not the crew, not the editors, not the producers. Nobody. It might seem small and not worth stressing over now, but at the time it was a huge reflection of the season as a whole. That being that the creators were so set on spending so much money on dragon sequences and racing to the end, that they forgot to actually put care into the finer details which made the show so special to begin with. Number 3. Gossip Girl – Dan and Blair Start Dating Gossip Girl was a huge success during its run on The CW. The show was promiscuous and dramatic, and as such, the characters in the teen drama were constantly hooking up with each other. I mean, hell, you probably would have needed a spreadsheet to probably keep track of all the different relationships on the show. There was one relationship that unanimously antagonised everyone in the fandom, though, that of Blair and Dan. If you're not familiar with the show and are wondering why a simple relationship would force fans to quit it, well, here's an explanation. Blair was the snooty rich girl that antagonised everyone she deemed beneath her, and Dan, well he was kind of the everyman, or at least as much of an everyman as you can get in one of these shows. He was poorer than his peers at the school on a scholarship, he was smart yet humble, and yes, to Blair, he was very much beneath her. And consequently, Blair treated Dan poorly whenever she was with him until she just kind of didn't anymore. The show even had the audacity to act as if Dan loved Blair more than he ever loved Serena, which did not go down well with Gossip Girl fans. Number 2. How I Met Your Mother – The Robin Balloon Arguably the worst How I Met Your Mother episode, Season 9's Sunrise featured one moment that summed up for many fans just how far the show had sunk. For nine whole years, lead character Ted had done the sitcom Will They Won't They Dance with Robin. 
who in this season was getting married to Ted's best friend, Barney. This particular episode was seemingly made to put an end once and for all to the idea of Robin being the titular mother, as Ted finally decides to let her go and move on. To symbolise this, however, the show literally shows Ted letting go of Robin, who then floats away into the sky like she's a balloon. On its own, the metaphor is heavy-handed, but in motion it's so, so cringy. How I Met Your Mother used to have a great handle on its emotional beats, balancing the hilarity with moments of solid character drama, but this was just too much. It felt like a parody of the show's previous emotional beats, and the fact that we were still on this Ted and Robin story had fans looking for the exit. Not to mention that this gesture would prove pointless by the series finale anyway. Number 1. The 100. The show implements the bury your gaze trope. If you haven't heard about the bury your gaze trope, it is basically when an LGBTQ plus character is introduced introduced and subsequently killed off as if they were disposable in a story. Usually, but not exclusively, it's gay female characters who get this treatment the most on TV. The trope has been around for an extremely long time, but it was no less enraging for fans when lesbian character Lexa on The 100 was killed off shortly after entering a relationship with one of the main characters, Clark. Fans were understandably distraught over the death, as Lexa was not only great for LGBTQ plus representation on TV, but she was also one of the most if not the most beloved character from the sci-fi series in general. Her relationship with Clark was championed by fans, and when the two finally put all of their differences aside to love each other and be together, the fan base practically threw parties in celebration. But the relationship barely got off the ground before the writers killed Lexa in an extremely heartless move. Fans expressed how much they expected better from the writers, and criticised the show for lazily playing into this trope, with many losing interest altogether. So that's our list, once do you guys think down in the comments below. Are there any precise moments that you completely fell off an otherwise beloved TV series? And did all of these hit you as they did me? Either way, while you're down there, could you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I'd be Josh. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.